principio de patilla nos trepamos aquí con estas cajas tiradas de la comida de la gente que hay que estar repartiendo en Puerto Rico estamos viendo paletas completas de comida están llenas vamos a hacer un inventario entonces de esto por aquí hay esto es agua hay agua que le hace falta a la gente Eh, vamos a ver qué, qué explicación tienen porque realmente todos lloran ante los ojos de Dios que hay agua y comida cada caja de esta trae a decirte una idea esto tiene eh, cerca de 12 comidas 12 comidas en cada caja que hay una paleta Aquí hay cientos y cientos de facciones perdidas. Sad situation in Puerto Rico. I mean, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. But clearly, I mean, there was pallets and pallets of food just thrown away, thrown in the garbage by the authorities. And I'm sure there's lots of starving thirsty people on the island that would appreciate to have some of that water and some of that food and some of that food looks pretty good these are meals ready to eat MREs they're not the best but hey I mean if you're hungry and starving you're a lot better than eating grass really sad the authorities that they would go out of their way to throw this food out and give it to their people just to try to make the US look bad there were statements that they had all this food in the ports and that the truck drivers the union wouldn't send this food out to the people unless they got like $30 an hour or some ridiculous number like that. You would think at a time of crisis that, that there'd be truck drivers that would be willing to take this food out for free. And I'm sure there was. I'm sure there is. There's lots of people, Puerto Ricans in New York, that probably want to send food down there or were willing to volunteer. What do you do now if you're in the United States? Do you completely rebuild that country, but then you have these leaders in the country that are just trying to make it a political thing when they should just be taking care of their people I'm kind of in the favor that they should try to help rebuild the island I think they have one of the highest uh, densities of people on food stamps that's not all to blame on them I was reading a report that you know they wanted to start developing their own food Goya did not allow people to have their own farms and now they got devastated by the hurricane not a lot of those farms it just went right up in the hurricane and those people have lost a lot. So they're going to they're gonna be dependent for a long time for resources from the outside. They are American citizens. I think we should help them out. But if you have leaders in there, they're just going to try to grab up the money, grab up the funds. They're corrupt. You can't have these type of leaders to try to help out the country at the same time that they're going to be gobbling up everything and just wasting it and throwing it away. They had a referendum in the country they wanted. To, should they join the states? They actually had a vote. The people that are saying not to join the states are telling everybody to stay home and not even vote on the referendum. Why would they do that? It's just crazy. If you really believe Puerto Rico shouldn't join the United States, you should vote and say, no, I don't want to join. But they actually told the people just to stay home. So they had this really low turnout. I think it was like a, only a 20% turnout. And what do you know? Well, those people that, that voted voted to join the states. So it's going to take a lot of money to rebuild that country or state. But I think if they are going to be a state, they have to get rid of these corrupt leaders. You can't have leaders that would literally not give a crap about their people and throw away all this food. There's people that could desperately use that.